Hi, welcome to Root Access, the show on Google Developers Live about startups. My name is Martin Omander, and I'm joined here today by Don Dodge, longtime investor and startup advocate. Welcome, Don. Thank you. Great to be here. Great. So you've invested in many companies, and we keep hearing, or at least I keep hearing, that um, investors look at the team a lot, not just the idea, but at the team in a startup before they invest. What specifically are they looking for? Um, they look for a couple of things in a team. One is balance, so a technical co-founder, a business co-founder, maybe a design co-founder that's really strong in design, or maybe someone who's strong in marketing and social media and that kind of thing. Uh, you need all of those things, and it's rare that one person possesses all of those qualities. So the first thing they're looking for is a balance of co-founders and capabilities. Second thing they look for is experience. So do you have experience in building scalable systems? Or do you have experience in launching products across uh, multiple market segments? Or do you have domain experience in this market so you understand you know what the problems are and that kind of thing um, so it's those types of things you look for in founders and then the most important thing is passion mm -hmm. you know do you have passion for this idea uh, is it something that uh, you have experience in so a lot of times I, I hear uh, investors say why did you why did you start this company? What, what is the idea? The reason they ask that question is to probe a little bit on where your passion is. Is this a problem that you've experienced and that you have passion about? If you do, then your odds of success are slightly better. Ah, right. So what if you have everything lined up? You have a team that is a good balance of business and, and uh, technology, uh, good domain experience. And what if you have um, somebody uh, on the team who has done startups and been successful before? Does that mean you're going to succeed? Good question. So the question about are serial entrepreneurs more successful than first-time entrepreneurs? Generally, yes. Um, if you've had an experience once or twice before, uh, your chances of success are slightly higher, even if those prior experiences were failures. The reason is oh, because... even if they were failures. Huh? Yes, yeah. yeah. Uh, now, if you've had multiple uh, startups before and they were successful, your odds of success go up a little higher. Mm. Uh, but even if you've had multiple experiences and one or two of them were failures, you still have a slightly better chance of success than a first-time entrepreneur because you've seen some of those problems that come up in every startup. So every startup is going to face some of these problems uh, that happen. And if you've been through them before, uh, at least you know what to look for. Hmm. And you, you see the red flags earlier and say, oh, okay, I have seen that problem before. I I didn't do it right last time, so I know not to do that. I'm going to try something different. So all of those things together give you a slightly better chance of success. A slightly better chance. Uh, so uh, not a much better chance then. No. 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 You're, most startups fail. 50% yeah. of them fail completely. So what you're trying to do as an entrepreneur and as an investor is increase your chances of success 5 or 10%. If you can do that, uh, if you can be successful 55% of the time, 60% mm -hmm. of the time as an investor, you're doing great. Uh, as an entrepreneur, if you can just increase your odds of success, because there are no guarantees in this business, mm. but if you can increase your odds of success a little bit, that's good. Ah, right. Even a little bit counts. Yes. Yep. So I've seen uh, many startup uh, teams, founders, they have this great idea, they think they're alone with it, they, they're, they're very excited about it, and then they hear that another company is doing it, but maybe another startup that is better funded, or they might hear that somebody tried a similar idea in the past and failed, and they are disheartened. Uh, should they be? No, uh, they shouldn't be disheartened. Uh, they should learn from that. So uh, as an entrepreneur, you want to look at the competitive landscape and see, is there anyone else trying to do what I'm doing now? Generally, there is. So understand. Oh, so you're not never seldom alone with your idea. Almost huh? rarely. If you're alone, uh, I would be even more uh, uh, skeptical, because if no one else is doing this, yeah. then 
uh, maybe this isn't a market. <laughs> so uh, typically there is competition either currently or someone has tried this in the past and failed. Hmm. So what you want to do is learn from that and say, all right, here are the approaches that they took, here are the strategies that they had, here are the feature sets that they focused on. Why did those fail? Or why did they succeed? You need to do the homework to understand why the competition failed and how you're going to avoid that failure. Or how you're going to do something better, maybe the same approach, but you have new wrinkles and new approaches to make it work. So if you haven't done the homework to sort that out and to understand what the competition is, why they succeeded in some cases and why they failed, uh, then your chances of success go down. So mm -hmm. make sure you do your homework and understand why something failed. Understand what they what failed. Okay, great. Thank you very much, Don. Thanks for sharing your experience with us. Thanks. Good to be here. And uh, when I'm not sitting here, I'm a developer here at Google writing internal tools for my team. And I always use the Google Cloud platform because that allows me to actually write code and be productive and not deal with the system administration. And uh, we now have an offer where you viewers uh, can uh, use the so get started on the Google Cloud Platform and get a two thousand dollar credit. So you can really try it out and see how how it works for you. The details are on screen. That's it for today. Uh, please keep those comments on comments on YouTube coming, and uh, we will address and uh, answer them in future episodes. Thanks. Bye. <laughs>